I googled kickboxing in Hastings and Hastings Kickboxing Academy came up. So I called Carl and uh, he uh, put me in for a class and I came in and haven't left since. It's a family up here and it's just a, a welcoming place as soon as you walk through the door. There's no egos or anything and it's, yeah, it's just, as I say, it's just a welcoming place as soon as you walk through the front doors. Well, I think with Carl and Jenny and the whole team, really, they made me feel very welcome and they took the time to, because everybody else was seemed to kind of know what they were doing a little bit, and um, they took the time to make sure that I was caught up to speed and put the effort in, really, to make me feel like I wasn't a beginner on my own. I was quite a quiet lad when I first started, and then coming kickboxing's really sort of brought me out. Um, I'm happy to talk to anybody, like help anybody. It's such a friendly environment. Um, like everybody gets on with everybody. There's no ego. The space that we've got itself is it's massive. We've got the ring in the corner, which is a competition size ring. Everything we need's in the gym. In my opinion, we've got probably the best equipped gym in the, for what we do in the area. I'm Jenny. I'm the head coach for HKA. Just seeing other people progress um, is what I want to achieve. I want people to come to me and say, God, I wish I could do that and I can help them. Um, and that's with everything, with the children, with the teens. Um, I've got many adults that are struggling in life with different things, you know, and I just want to continue to help them, whatever that might be. The benefits are endless in respect to everyone comes for different reasons, so we'll have a three-year-old that won't leave their parents' side literally will cling on to their, their leg and won't let go. So you've got uh, attachment problems or issues. Therefore, it's not about making them a kid boxer. It's about getting them away from mum and letting them understand that they can stand on their own two feet. Whereas you can go all the way to the other scale where you could have a 25-stone man that struggles to walk upstairs. So therefore, he wants to lose weight and become fitter, but he's too scared to walk into a gym because he's afraid of what people will think. And then we have everything in between. The, the biggest thing is when I have a parent ring me or, or contact me and say, thank you so much, um, you know, my son has been bullied for two years, he won't leave the house, he won't leave his bedroom, uh, you know, he hasn't got many friends. And then you're not gonna know that until you get told that, of course. And then six months down the line, you know, he's out playing football with his mates, he's going to, you know, he's going to town at weekends, he'll go to the cinema by himself or with his friends. He'll come to the gym by himself. And so everyone has their goals. Um, and then when, when they bring it to your attention, you think, that's amazing. I'll go home and get wicked. We've changed that person there, which is great. Kickboxing for me has made me who I am today. It's made me strong. It's made me confident. And I hope that the stuff that I've learned from kickboxing that I can give to others. The hardest part is walking through the door the first time. Once you're in there, I can guarantee within 20 minutes you'll be, you'll be wanting to come back again. There's, I, I have no doubts on that.